with our friends and solo You don't wanna miss this, watch the show now Press the bell for updates, fast do it now Notify, subscribe and like Miss Lily's World Watch it, watch it, go, watch it, watch it Miss Lily's World Watch it, watch it, go, watch it, watch it Watch it, watch it, go. Hey, it's your girl Miss Lee here. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on where you are. So, guys, today I'm giving you my cute little innocent little girl look. You know, I don't want no trouble. I come in peace kind of look. You know, you know that kind of <laughs> darling, no me, no darling, that kind of look. I'm feeling like that today, guys. Um, no wigs, no weaves, just me and my natural bow, okay. Now, if you're new to my channel or you're returning and you haven't done so already, please remember before we go any further to hit that like button, like this video, share this video with anyone who you think may find the content interesting and useful. Hit the notification so that you are aware every time your girl drops new content. And most importantly, please smash that subscribe button subscribe to my channel so i've been saying this over and over and over again like a scratch record those who are used to me you guys know this time of year is like really a struggling time because your girl don't like the cold mm -mm -mm -mm. if you're anything like me you want to stay warm but you also want to stay cute whilst you're doing it sometimes mm -hmm. looking cute and staying warm doesn't always go hand in hand you get what i mean ladies mm -hmm. So yet again, I have another cute review for you. Stay tuned as we will be unbagging coats and jackets from PLT. Pretty little thing, guys. I love how they just got it in like, got a handle on it. When you buy online until they are delivered, that's when you really know like the true quality, whether that item will keep you warm or give you shape and make you look good when you're wearing it. So let's unbag the first jacket. So the first item we'll be trying on is the black fur belted coat okay so let's get this on and then i'll give a quick review and let you know how much it costs okay the full price for this coat comes in at 60 pounds guys but i got it for 47 pound 50 pence at the time when i purchased it from pretty little thing they were on discount so I know that their discount fluctuates. Sometimes they put these on sale, sometimes they sell them for full price. Um, but with a discount code, you can get some money off. But at the time, this went down to 47 pounds, 50 pence. Now, here's my honest review with this belted midi black fox fur coat. I like the, the, the feel of it. The material is really nice. Um, and obviously I like the, the shine that is actually on the jacket. The jacket is lined inside, but it's not padded. You're probably thinking, girl, it is not a puffer jacket. No, I know it's not a puffer jacket, but it's just lined with lining. So therefore this jacket, you would need like quite a thick jumper if you was to wear this like casually to keep you warm. It comes almost across like a dressing gown. There are no buttons. So the only way you can fasten it is by using the belt that it comes with. And for me, it's not practical. It just serves no purpose. Um, it doesn't feel warm. It looks nice but there's no buttons. And I have been down this road before guys where I have purchased coats with no buttons and yeah, I'm effed basically because I'm cool. Some people just need something to just keep the chill off their back. I need to keep the chill off my whole body. I actually look, since saying that, look at, I put this jumper on and I don't know, when I bought this jumper, I, it's from Zara. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like off the shoulder or if it's supposed to sit 
like a little bit on your i don't know it just it does its own thing so um please don't say i don't know how to dress myself because i do it's just you know sometimes especially with zara clothes you just don't know i don't know how to wear it i'm not alive so let's open the other package to see what's inside there I'm actually excited about trying this one on guys. This one from Pretty Little Thing, it's called the Khaki Contrast Oversized Trench Coat. I do love a trench coat look, but because I'm quite short, trench coats look like a whole wedding dress on me. You know, like it's dragging on the floor. So yeah, let's see what this looks like on. Standard trench coat um material thickness is what i expected so um yeah i kind of feel i look i drowned a little bit in this uh, so first of all let me just say i absolutely love the contrast the khaki and the and the beige or nude whatever you want to call it i absolutely love it that's, it's definitely stylish, it's different. When you walk out in something like this, like you're definitely gonna turn heads if that's what you wanna do, like when you're walking on street cars. You get me? Sometimes you, <laughs> sometimes you don't want people for chat to you, but you just want people for guy now, you know? <laughs> Ooh, she looks cute. So yeah, this will definitely make that happen. Only issue, shoes, with this is that, hope you can see that. It's a size 10, okay? It's a size 10 and it looks like it's a size 18 on me. It looks really big on the top and the arms. Um, I do know that a lot of stores do make like petite, I am a short girl, um, and a lot of shops do make like clothing in the petite uh, sizes. So petite is more lengthwise, it's for shorter people. Um, I would say if you are five foot one and a half, like me, mm -hmm, then this may come up a bit too big. No, it will come up big. Now I'm not a small girl like width wise, but height wise I'm small and the arms, as you can see, it's just way too long. I do like the detail on the jacket. You've got the, uh, the arm belts which goes around the wrist my only thing is this came off when i was opening the package and i've put it back in and it keeps dropping off so i don't know how secure see i don't know how secure this would be when you're wearing it out on road potentially you could get fed up and say char let me take it off because they are removable and then you lose it or it just doesn't look good also the same um the cut the coat is double breasted so it comes buttoned and it also has a belt but again with a lot of trench coats you kind of get these kind of belts so there's nothing to actually really fasten and keep it in place when you've got it on and i felt that you know with one or two sudden movements that belt would definitely Come undone. The price for the trench coat is £50. I got it for £45. Again, you know, Pretty Little Thing does this thing where some days they just have a sale on their site and you can get discounts off of every item of clothing. I can't remember how much it was at the time, the percentage of sale. Um, and when I was purchasing these, that's what happened. And sometimes you have to use a discount code to get discount off of uh, their full price items. So this is a uh, box for cropped bubble coat. I always like the, the shorter fox fur coats because it's chic as well and it's also sexy. I think it gives a kind of sexy vibe depending on what you're wearing. Especially if you're wearing like a mini skirt or a mini dress or like something fitted, like a fitted, mind you, even with flares, like a flared trouser, like this would look cute with a little bag when you're walking down the street. So 
So anybody that knows me, something like this would probably be my go-to look, my go-to style. As you can see, it's got a nice sheen on the fur. It's got that bubbled look. Let me try it on and give you my, my opinion. Okay, so with the bubble fox fur black coat, this says it's premium. Um, I got this in a size 12, UK 12. It feels really warm. So this is lined inside, but it feels like it's got like extra padding in it. And I don't know if that's obviously to give it that bubble kind of puff, puffer jacket look, but it feels really warm. My only downside for this one is that there's no pockets being that it's cropped and there's no way to do it up either the reason why i got a bigger size is because usually with cropped especially to go over the breast area i like to get something that fits to keep me warm but yeah this doesn't do up so you could stick to your normal size if you was going to get this this jacket is just purely to definitely just keep the chill off your back. It ain't gonna keep you warm at the front. There's nothing to do it up in. And it's definitely just like a fashion piece, but it's a cute fashion piece. But now I like look good door. So the full price for this cropped fur bubble jacket is 75 pounds. And I got it for 64 pound 50 pence. Now, I don't really think it's worth 75 pound, but no I like. Hear me out. Any jacket that does not do up is not worth full price. This is simple facts. So the next one we've got here is another khaki. So you know I said the other one, the trench coat was like a khaki green and a nude or beige. I think this colour is called khaki as well. See, but I would say this is nude or beige, but they've got this as khaki, so we don't know. This is a khaki nylon quilted bog lined hooded coat. So it seems like like the khakis, the blacks, the burgundies, the dark greens are like the colours for, that's usual autumn, winter colours. But it seems like that's the colours for this autumn 2022, winter 2022, stroke 2023. So we're going to try this one on and I'll tell you what I think about it in a minute. So I still got this one on guys, like this one now definitely, definitely gives me dressing gown vibes. <laughs> I absolutely love the color. I love the hood. The hood is like, you know, one of those proper hoods that covers your whole head. Yeah. And you know, it seems like it will stay on, not drop off. I like the fact that you've got the paneling of like wool down the jacket the coat and i do like this padded stitched look as well however this is definitely an autumn jacket it is not going to keep you warm through a blizzard this is just my opinion i do like the style i like the fact that it's got pockets i like the fact that you know, the belt actually fastens properly and it doesn't come undone. Again, it doesn't have no buttons. I don't know what these designers are doing. I don't know if they're trying to save on money, but I have realized this autumn, like a lot of the jackets, there's, there's no buttons on them. It's like they forgot to finish it. I mean, I know what. So this came in, it comes in full price at 50 pounds and I got it for 50 pounds. They didn't take no money off this one. I mean, no way, I mean, no way. But um, as for the style, I really like it. As for practicality, I mean, no. Uh, you know, some people like not having like buttons or zips or whatever on their coats because they like to move around. Sometimes the coats feel, guys, I'm not stripping. I don't know what's gone on with this jumper today. Anyway, um, don't like to feel restricted by their coats. And I get that, but when it's really, really cold and you want that coat to keep you warm, this ish ain't doing it. We need buttons. This one we have here is the burgundy midi. What is this one called? 
burgundy vinyl contrast fox fur midi coat i'm looking forward to trying this one on i love a burgundy i love wearing the color especially um as like your over outer garment i don't know over over garment outer garment um i think it complements my tone yeah i just love burgundy um let me try this one on So for me, out of all the jackets I've tried on so far, this one is winning. And the reason why I say it's winning is because it's fur inside. Guys, I'm about keeping, look, as you can see, I barely wear clothes. I need to keep warm when I step out the house, okay? Now you might just say, Lee, buy yourself some proper clothes that fit you. Yeah, I will, but in the meantime, I need something to keep me warm, innit? Like, I absolutely love the colour guys and I love that it has potential to keep you warm. It has no buttons. It's a midi jacket so it looks cute with heels. Um, I didn't try none of these on with trainers which I should have because for a short girl like me you know I ain't gonna run outside like shopping and ish in heels like those days are over. I used to do it. I'm gonna do them thing no more. Comfort is the way which is why I want to keep warm as well with my coats. I'm not quite sure though because it doesn't have buttons but the belt does seem really secure and I love the fact that it's got really deep pockets. The pockets are big and deep, which I like. So you can put your hands in there and your hands will keep warm and snug because the pockets are also lined with fur. I think PLT has done a good job with this jacket because of the lining, just purely because of the lining. So you know it's gonna keep you warm. It's not just a fashion piece. Outside we've got the PVC kind of leather look on it. Um, and then you've got the trimming with the fur. I don't like that look. I don't, I don't like that look. I've, I have a jacket similar that I bought from PLT before and it's got like the fur trimming and I thought it was different and I thought, yeah, let me buy this, but me I like it, me I like it. Mm -mm. But it keeps me warm and that's the main thing. I want to look stylish and warm. I don't want to be stylish and cold. I've gone past that stage. I'm not 21 no more where them things didn't matter. I'm now grown, not too old, but grown. And I, you know, I'm going for stylish and comfort at the same time. So this coat comes in at 75 pounds and I got it for 67 pound 50. I do think it's worth it because it, it will keep you warm. Like you can potentially get hot in this coat. Like, I think that's the main point that when you do buy coats, depending on like your body temperature, if you're a person like me who feels the cold easily, I need something that's going to be lined or padded real thick so that it keeps the cold out. I just feel like with this one out of all of them, it will keep me the warmest. It covers me from like my neck down to, well, not my ankles, but you know, calves maybe and fitted. It's padded. It looks chic. And even when the belt is open, it doesn't look like it, I'm drowning in the coat. So I, I do actually like, do you it. think PLT have got it right with their coats? I mean, there's a common theme. None of them have buttons apart from the trench coat. Do you think that that's the thing now? Like we don't do coats with buttons and zips. I know Parker coats usually come with buttons and zips, but guys, I'm a real like fan on keeping the cold out away from my body. So yeah, I want more than the bloody belt. If this is just a theme with PLT's fall fashion, fall stroke winter fashion, or should I say autumn stroke winter, where else will do coats that actually have buttons but look stylish and keep you warm at the same time? Let me know. Drop your suggestions or recommendations in the comments section below and I will try them out. Please, before I leave you, it is important that you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You also share this video with anyone who you think may find the content interesting. Also, please hit that notification so that you are aware every time I upload new content. And let me just scream it from the rooftops. Okay, not, not literally. Please smash that subscribe button and subscribe to this your channel. This channel, right, yaso please and thank you until next time guys stay safe and take care and you will see me soon bye